Culture is, um, it's a good question. And it, it covers a really broad uh, spectrum of things. But if I were to put it into like one phrase, I would say culture is what we celebrate. And what I mean by that is, you all know on your teams, whether it's, whether it's uh, you know, your corporate team, whether it's your, your football, basketball, baseball, softball, whatever team, you know that the coaches are looking for certain things to celebrate and to really get excited about. We do it naturally at home too. We set the culture of our families by celebrating the things that we want in our kids and they do something really well and we go, that's awesome. That's exactly what I'm, what I'm looking for right there. Mm -hmm. So it's what we celebrate. And by default, it becomes what we detest, what we don't want. And um, our philosophy in Seattle is that we want to be very positive and optimistic. And so we, we tend to, to err on the side of celebrating the positive things more than we really try to cut down the things that we don't want. You know, so in other words, we're just exposing the things we don't want. So we're living in this contrasting world. Hey, look at what we're celebrating here, guys. So that other thing, that's not us. Every once in a while, when things are just like you can't avoid it, um, then we'll address them, you know, as a team and say, hey, guys, this is something that's worked its way into our football. And we got to really address this thing. We got to nip this in the bud, guys. And we'll, we'll address it that way. Another way we do it, which is really effective, is we do it in a playful way. So for us, our philosophy of our football is it's all about the ball. And we're talking about being on the field. We'll go crazy about the football. Okay, go nuts. So we show probably, if we show 10 examples, eight of them are great. Two of them are absolutely terrible where the guy's like swimming the ball over the defender to make a miss, you know, and like being really just careless with the football. And so those guys, when we show them, we usually show somebody from somebody else's team, unless it's one of our guys like on a touchdown, then that's a great opportunity to crush them. <laughs> he did this great play it's a sack cause fumble or you know it's a you know slant and just he like makes the db fall and he's running for 30 yards by himself and he puts the ball in one hand you know and starts doing the Deion sanders type of deal and everybody just goes berserk like boo, boo <laughs> you know like we're calling him all kinds of like you know, just playful names of like, man, this, this guy's not a Seahawk, you know, he must have learned that at we start naming the high school and the college. And so we, we have a playful way of attacking what we don't want. At times it has to get serious, but then, but then we do want to err on the side of, of celebrating things. And that's how we set the culture and what people are looking to become when they come into the Seattle Seahawks office. Wow, I love it, Dave, because what, what you're saying is you allow the positive energy to drown out the negative energy. Yeah. So here's the thing. The, the temptation there is I might be a little soft is that, as, a, as a coach or, or right. you know, or I'm, I'm, I'm creating a soft culture. How, how, do you, how do you protect from that? Do you try or do you just take the risk? We're, we're risking it. We're, we're, yeah. we're risking it on, on positive energy. What, what's, what's your philosophy there? Well, it's great that you asked that because that does seem to be kind of the perception for some groups, some teams around the league when they look at us and they go, oh, hey, the Seahawks do fun really well. They do happy really well, you know, and, and so we do get a little bit of negative attention in that regard. Um, but the thing is, if, if you are around us, if you come and you see our, our how we operate on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's in practice, um, whether it's during a game, um, whether it's in a meeting, we have an, a level of enthusiasm and excitement about what we do that's unparalleled, okay? You won't find it. You might find it at like, uh, you might find it at like Google and one of their, their group meetings or, or you know, some of the, the more, you know, savvy contemporary tech companies, but we do everything upbeat. We start off our team meetings with a free throw shooting contest. We have uh, online apps that we use for quizzes to, to compete with the guys. So we're trying to set this culture of competition in a positive and highly energetic way. Um, so it's a very aggressive thought, Scott. You know, it's a very 
um, intentional uh, way to do things. You know, it's um, it really becomes like we don't we don't ever see it as being soft because of how hard it is on us as coaches to get up every day and go. There is no off day. There is no bad day for a coach. Okay, they'll follow our lead. So we got to show up every single day, and I challenge any coach to come and match the type of enthusiasm that our whole staff has to muster up, even on those days when things are going on at home. You know, uh, there's a guy feeling a certain type of way in your in your meeting room. You know, the contract didn't go quite the way he wanted to, or he's not getting the balls he wanted, or different things like that. And you still got to come with that energy, and you still got to say, "Hey, man, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Life's really hard for you right now." But we got to go because all we got is this day. All we got is this practice. And so it becomes something that we really um, pride ourselves on and, and our players really respond to it.